Claudia, we have your question. Thank you so much, Claudia, um, for sending us your question that deals with break even. And the beautiful part about this particular question is that it's already been given to us. We've been given the whole thing. So we just need to interpret what's going on in this particular question. So the question says to us, uh, Peter wants to start a lift club. So Peter wants to start a lift club and he wants to know how many people he needs to give a lift in his car in order to break even. There we've got that word again, break even. Um, on petrol costs. So what they're asking us here is how much does Peter um, need to make in order for him to start making profit basically so yes i've got all these people in my car coming onto my car but at how many people am i going to start making profit At how many people am i going to break even this is what i need to know um people are not willing to contribute more than 20 rand per day i wonder where exactly they are going and for how far they're going um he gains a new passenger each week starting with one passenger answer the questions that follow so you can see with this particular graph um, that we've got the petrol cost on the side there which starts at about 160 so our scale here is 160 if i am correct um, 160 320 480 640 and so on and so on um, going up there and then we've got the days of the week and they told us here that it starts with one passenger um, going all the way up. And obviously, in, in order for us to find out how many passengers there are, we'll be using that 20 rand um, per day that we have been given up there. So the first question says to us, and before we start with the first question, I want us to look at this. We've got our two keys at the bottom. So we know that this is um, petrol versus um, passenger contributions, which is the 20 rand times the number of people that are coming onto the car so the petrol is the darker one so the petrol would be this one I'll, I'll erase this line i just want you to see this would be the petrol actually i think i'm going to leave it there and then um the passengers is going to be the curved one and how do i know um that the passengers are the curved it's because this one is darker and this one is slightly a bit lighter and um, that's all that i use actually how many people does he need to give a lift to to break even so we need to see where break even is but here it says to us that break even is at um wait it says to us how many people does he need to give a lift to to break even if his petrol costs 1200 rand per month and why so this person is spending 1200 rand and we want to know how many people um anytime you hear the keyword how many you know there's going to be some sort of division happening there so i'm going to say 1200 rand divided by 20 rand why 20 rand is the number of people right because each person is paying 20 rand so let's go and see how much that is going to give us 1000 200 divided by 20 60 so it means that this person um, needs to give 60 people it's quite a number of people right 60 people um to break even that that's now us saying that's how much he needs so it says to us what value of quantity does the curve um, line show? So the value here is showing us um, the, the contributions that the people are making. That's number two. Okay. So that's the contributions that the people are making. I, I will write that down. Contributions made by people. Number three, and number three says to us, what day of the month does he break even? Assume that the first um, Monday is the first of the month. So we've got the days of the week here going on and we are saying, um, this person is saying to us, assume that this is the first. And break even, I'm going to use yellow for our break even. 
Break even is where these points meet over here. So it says to us what day of the month. So break even, go down. Break even is on a Monday. So, so break even, um, I'm just going to take it down there. And that's break even over there where the points meet. It's going to be the first Monday, the second Monday, the third Monday, the fourth Monday of the month. Okay, so it's the fourth Monday of the month. And if we want to count it using um, the first, the second, we can just say um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It was on the 22nd of the month. So that's how you can do it. Creating your own little um, calendar there, 22nd of the month and if they asked you which Monday it was the fourth Monday it was um, the last Monday of that month okay I hope we are making sense and we are moving together number four says to us why does the curved line overtake the straight line let's go see does the curved line really overtake the straight line there we go we have our curved line like I was saying and over there, by that little dot that I've drawn, it starts overtaking it. And I said to you, whenever you do break even, there's going to be a little point where they start crossing. And then the one line goes above the other line. And when it goes above the other line, it means that this person is starting to make profit. Anytime someone starts to break even, they are making profit. So if you are running a business and you are not breaking even, it means you are not making a profit. There's some free knowledge for you right there. Um, so going on, number five says to us, what profit does he make um, each month? Use income and expenditure um, profit formula. So the income and expenditure formula, basically, this is what they're talking about. Um, it's, it's going to be income minus expenditure. And this is basically going to give us the amount of profit that this person um, is making every single month. So that's the formula that they're basically talking about there. Number six says to us, assume um, that he has to service his car every six months at a cost of 1,000 Rand. Is this still a viable option for him? And you need to do this based on your calculations. So we know already, we know already that Peter needs to um, spend 1,200 Rand on petrol already we know that already and we know um it's about 60 people or about 60 trips that he's making maybe with the same person or however number of people so now he has to go in and he has to service his car again on top of that um and your assumption is purely purely based on the calculations that you have made and you you basically comparing these two together and saying yes this person um, is making enough so let's go see on this particular one and if you go up you can see there he is this line well ends at about I'm gonna go sideways so we're looking at about 1,500 Rand basically that he's making okay but with that type of money, let's go see. He needs 1,200 Rand for petrol. Ooh, 12,000. 1,200 Rand for petrol plus 1,000 Rand for service. That's not going to work. So he's basically spending um, 2,200 on his business. And it's not a viable option at all. So you go in and you say, no, it is not a viable option because um, he is then spending more money than he is making. 